this is, as they said, man versus movie, and I am Paul Valancourt, and this is the only, the world's only one man improvised movie, and here's how it's going to go. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to come to you guys in a moment for a suggestion, and that'll be in the form of a line of poetry or a lyric from a song, a line of poetry or a lyric from a song, so start thinking about those things. I'll come to you in a moment. Then, using that as my jumping off point, I will improvise an entire film right before your very eyes, including everything you would see in a major Hollywood blockbuster film, including camera angles, characters, plots, special effects, everything you see in a movie improvised right here before your very eyes. How's that sound? Yeah. All right, all right. These are all heading in the same direction. That's good. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So right now, as I said, let's hear a suggestion of a line of poetry or a lyric from a song. A line of poetry or a lyric from a song. Oh, raising your hand. Very nice. Yes. Yes, sir. Where you lead, I will follow. Oh, where you lead, I will follow. Where you lead, I will follow. Here we go. This is all part of it. <laughs> A, uh, it is the interior of a truck. It's not just a regular truck. It's a police truck. It's a. Uh, it's sort of all armored and this sort of thing. It's all armored and sort of sitting um, <coughs> here and here. Uh, here is a, is a prisoner. We know because he's all in orange and he's uh, he's totally totally bald except for this sort of like very dark black uh, and he's huge. Um, Bill, he's like just straining at the seams of this thing. He's like got, he's, you know, and feet too. And he's like, oh, <laughs> just sitting there, like head down. Like, oh. Sitting across him is a young guy, a guard. Uh, he's got a, he's got a shotgun, but somehow we feel like this guy has the advantage. And he's like young, fresh faced, like freckly and red hair. He's like, <sighs> cut to the exterior of this. This giant truck sort of going down the highway. Uh, uh, ahead of it are police cars. It's a, it's a big long shot down down the highway. We see police cars sort of clearing the road, clearing the road as it goes. And then suddenly one of the police cars veers off, and we see uh, uh, sort of the camera swings around, and we see a motorcycle. And astride the motorcycle is a, is a is a thin sort of tiny figure with a big black helmet on. And the motorcycle is, is giant. It's like a Harley. It's like <laughs> right past these police cars, and we cut to the interior of one of the police cars. A trouble, okay, well, someone, someone's gotten by, we gotta we'll turn it, let's stop it, we'll get it around. They're panicking, they're panicking. We come back to the motorcycle, the camera. We cut to a side shot where we see the motorcycle, it's a wide shot. We see the motorcycle and the truck, they're on a collision course, but the motorcycle isn't. And the, the guys in the truck are, and they're like, Oh, this guy's like a huge burly dude, and this guy's a skinny little dude. He's like, oh, hang on, hang, hang on. He's wearing a police uniform, so it's this guy. We can take a motorcycle. And just at the slow motion, we see the front as just as the motorcycle is about to hit. The figure steps up on the seat, lets go, and jumps. In slow motion, just like and then flying. <laughs> and then lands in a roll. <laughs> As the motorcycle impacts the front of the... And from this angle... <laughs> and the truck is like... <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they spent the money. They're going to get their money. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down. Inside, we see the um, in the back <coughs> uh, the big guy and the kid with the gun. He doesn't have the gun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> to the back door, <laughs> to the outside where we see the door fly open. <sighs> that kid's done. <laughs> <laughs> And we see, <coughs> walking down the road, the camera swings around, walking down the road, the figure with the helmet. 
comes off. Long, beautiful hair. <laughs> She's got a scar. Still beautiful. I know why. She just is. <laughs> She's like, like all armored and tough. And she doesn't. She doesn't even talk. They just look. She, because he's so tall. <laughs> Good job. We got work to do. Let's go. We cut to the interior of a police, um, you know, station where it's like all like chaos and like, guys, oh my god, and they're pinned on this guy, oh. And then we sort of cut to the interior of like the briefing room. And it's like over the shoulder where we see uh, a big screen. We see that guy's like mug, like from this angle. <laughs> just for this one too, just because you know that was probably. <laughs> and then over the shoulder, we see this guy's like gray, uh-huh. right? And this guy as well, gray. This guy's in an army uniform. This guy's in a police uniform. God damn it! International terrorists. We caught him and we can't hang on to him. What the fuck are we doing? We turn around. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys are, are, are identical twins. <laughs> Thomas, this is your doing. We caught him. You're supposed to hang on to him. Hold on. You gotta bring the police for this. We're not equipped for this. We're equipped for regular old criminals. This guy's an international terrorist. How do we know that he was gonna have a motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> you need to figure it out. Get somebody on it. By the end of the day, I want to be able to tell the president something. <laughs> this guy comes out. <coughs> this guy. <sighs> the door swings over. Uh, his aide, like a little, a littler version of him, like, sir. Uh, what are we gonna do, sir? You know what we gotta do. Make the call. We cut to the woods. Far, far back in the woods, man. It's like so far. It's like it's like you know, like where there's wilderness, like past that. Bears are like, no. it's like really deep, deep, deep. But here, as we sort of like go through, we see a deer. <laughs> and then suddenly, the, th- th- this bush like comes and grabs him and wrestles him to the ground. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut to it like it's a what? It's moments later. He's got the deer over his shoulder. The whole deer, you guys. <laughs> he comes around a cusp of trees, and there, sort of hidden back, is a, is a giant sort of story log cabin. It's perfectly camouflaged. If you're like more than 20 feet away, you can't see it. But now we see it. It's, it's amazing. Because of the interior, he like swings open. It's a giant sort of main room. There's like sort of everything's made of like leather and wood and bone and whatever. There's like antlers everywhere because antlers, you know. And uh, and he's wearing just like all like a ghillie suit. Like that's kind of what he wears all the time. You feel like he's blonde, handsome, rugged. He's ruggedly handsome. <sighs> what is it? What do you want? There's a guy sitting over here. The camera swings around. You discover him. It's the aide. Um, you're, uh, we need you back. There's a problem. <laughs> Come back to this guy. Of course there's a problem. <laughs> you only call me for problems. You ever call me on someone's birthday? You have a cake? Retirement <laughs> <laughs> party, no invitations. Problems, number one on the list. <laughs> Who is it? Just cut, cut to this guy. He's like sweating. Salvador Michaels. International <laughs> terrorists. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he and I went round and round a couple years back. We cut to, it's a flashback of this. It's in, um, it's like in the, it's in the sandbox, you know? And it's like, he's like, it's him, but he's like with the, you know? And it's like all like CIA, like khaki pants and dress shirt, but like one of these happening. <laughs> Coming up on the target. We see behind him like four other guys, all CIA advisors. 
We cut to uh, sort of another shot where we see it's like a big um, stone, uh, sort of mud, uh, hot house situation, right? They're sort of right outside. Right, ready? You guys ready? We see all these guys. They're sort of just like this. Ready? 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 I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm ready. <laughs> we, they're, they're just about to breach the door, and suddenly this thing just like, just like big stones fall, and gun turrets. <laughs> Strengthening the area. He's like, God damn it! <laughs> she makes it through the door. Interior. <laughs> this is all sort of like sepia tones. It's a memory. <laughs> we see inside, we see a bunch of a bunch of guys, sort of like, you know, they're all terrorist dudes. And he's like, <sighs> they're all sort of ready, and he's like, <sighs> <sighs> they're all shooting at him, but he's dodging. <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Why don't they I don't the <laughs> he comes to some stairs. <laughs> he pulls out a giant knife. He's got a door over his shoulder. He's at a door. In slow motion, we see we see him enter. <clears throat> now it's from this end. Uh, there, across the way, Salvador Michaels. He's got like a big like scimitar. Uh, he's shirtless, and behind him is a woman who's shirtless as well. <laughs> he throws the woman. He throws his knife, catches her. Goodbye! <laughs> and he jumps, he jumps out the window. We see him out the window. Uh, and he's like falling, falling. No, he's not. He catches a ladder of a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> we come back to present day. Yeah. I know cell phone like this. <laughs> we cut to the interior of a, uh, of a, it's the exterior actually. It's an establishing shot of a gas station sort of in the middle of the desert. You know when you're driving across country, it's like 150 miles to anything. This is that marker, right? <laughs> it's a gas station. And we see um, the, <laughs> we see like the pumps and the like modest and burnt out cars around, right? And the motorcycle, a new motorcycle. <laughs> He's on front, she's on back. <laughs> Blow up this motorcycle. Make sure no one can follow us. I'm going inside. She just smiles, evil, and nods. <laughs> we cut to the interior. It's, a, it's a, over his shoulder. It's an empty sort of a, a gas station come cafe, and it's like totally empty. He's walking over to the counter where there's like a soda, where like a soda jerk would work. One of the should be Coke, but this uh, the uh, jukebox. And it's like a, a tunnel, you know. Inside, down a big metal staircase. Now he's in a control room. And there's a bunch of there's a bunch of guys there. Now this place is populated, man. It's like computers and like guns and bombs and like over here is like a map of of the United States and like. And tourist attractions with like X's and bombs and like <laughs> smiling faces like X out. It's like this is like the big thing. Well, I'm happy that everyone's been hard at work, but I've been on vacation. <laughs> a guy with a with a big mustache comes up. Yes, sir. You've been hard at work. Welcome back. Well, I brought you something. It's a big shotgun with just like a pistol grip. He's ready. <laughs> oh, Eleanor, welcome back. <laughs> and the big holster on his side. Let's begin. And we sort of hear there's a slideshow, right? It's a slideshow of different things, of like, of like um, you know, the Washington Monument and the White House and like Mount Rushmore and Disneyland and Disney World, because they're different. <laughs> and the Hollywood sign, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, and over it, we hear like this this voice, or we see sort of, it's sort of on this guy's face, all these things over it. So, Yes, sir, we have been planting bombs around the country. They are almost all in position. All we need to do now is arm the central detonator right outside the doors of Fort Knox. And we, hear, we see this guy. Good. Very good. 
And we cut to the exterior of a <coughs> of, of the crash site where we see uh, the you know where the truck blew up and stuff. And we see we see our guy from before. We don't even know his name yet. We see our guy from before. He's looking. Yeah. We see a close up face. He's looking. <laughs> And he's looking, but he's like sort of thousand yard stairs. He's like taking it in. Behind her are a bunch of policemen. Oh, come on, what are you, what are you doing down there? Is he, he going to hump it or what? What the fuck is going on? He's going to do his thing, all right? He's the best tracker they ever had. He was an army ranger. He thought that was too easy, so he became a SEAL, and that was too easy, and he gave up. He just went rogue. He did his own thing for a while. Are you serious? I'm totally serious. I read his, his, his goddamn resume is like a fucking adventure novel. Oh, really? Shut up! <laughs> Could the two of you be quiet? I'm trying to take in all the factors here. Uh, I got it. We gotta go to the Nova Desert. That's the only place we could be. If I know Salvador Michaels, and I do. <laughs> He's playing something big. Let's go. I mean, I'll go. You all stay here. You slow me down. <laughs> we cut to the interior of uh, uh, just him like in a big uh, in a big Hummer. Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> it's, all, it's all ghillie suit and green. It's probably his. It's probably his. <laughs> and like hanging from the thing here is like a is like a human ear. <laughs> There's antlers on the front of the thing. We cut back to, to the crash site where those guys are like what? <laughs> we come back to him. And we hear like he turns on the radio and like a giant, gigantic, like rock anthem starts playing, like really low, just so like until finally sort of like he's just driving with an exterior shot where we see the thing uh, driving and it's getting closer and closer. And, and it's just out in the desert, and we sort of do a super close up of his of his um of his uh, gas gauge, and it's like going like closer and closer and empty. That's this way, it's closer and closer and empty. It's just it's almost in the red. We come back to him. Perfect. Perfect. Just like I planned. And next year, we see his his car like coast to a stop right at this gas station. <laughs> he gets up. Hello? Anybody? Cut to the interior of the, of the thing. Bling, bling. <laughs> Anybody? Hello? Hello? A little guy like pops out from, from behind him. Yeah! We sort of swing around to see him. Oh, sorry, I was taking a nap. Nobody comes by here. He was, he's an older, old man. He's an old man. He's got glasses on. He looks like a, a guy who would, you know, be an old man. And he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, he's like, I mean, we only get like one or two customers a day. That that little bell is my alarm clock. What can I what can I do for you? And as as they're, they're just sort of talking back and forth, and we see a close up of our guy's eyes. Something's up. He says to himself. And then we sort of see a close up of this guy's arm. It's a little tiny edge of a tattoo down here that's just sticking out from under his thing. Oh well. Uh, you want some gas? Uh, what, did you fill it up? How much? What do you? What? Why are you here? What's going on? What do you want? I want to know where Salvador Michaels is. Who in the world is that? What are you talking about? We see this guy. Oh, he's, he's like sweating. They're trying to play it cool. It's terrible. Oh, I know what? Tell who? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Go back to the tuna. Listen, old man. You can become a very old man. Or you can become an ex-old man. <laughs> How do you want to play it? This guy's like, oh, I don't, I don't want any slow motion. <laughs> Two Uzis under the counter. <laughs> right into the camera. <laughs> this is meant to be 3D. <laughs> we see our guy. Look close to our guy. It, the, the Uzis are tearing up. It hits a chain, and a big swordfish mounted here, like swings right into the camera. It's a 3D. Our guy picks up a, 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 it's a, it's a hubcap, like mounted on the walls, like kitschy, whatever. Again, right at the camera. They're really using it. And this guy's like, 
Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just like, do, do, do. he's all the way down the earth. <laughs> oh. uh. Please, please don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. We see his his point of view as, as our guy pulls up. It's like a it's like an over it's like you know an up angle shot. I'll ask you one more time. <clears throat> Foot on the chest. I'll ask you one more time. And then I'm gonna ask you hard. <laughs> Where's Salvador Michaels? <laughs> and then we go back to this guy. Just have a have a coke and a smile. Have a coke and a smile. <laughs> he spies the thing, so close up of the thing. We see his huge hand, his huge mitt. Cut to the live side. The jukebox, you know, from before. And then, Lights stuck in. We see all the guys, and, he, and he's like totally like everyone's so busy they don't even like. Hey, you got company. They all turn and draw their weapons and start to fire. He jumps backwards into the stairwell. They all shoot each other. <laughs> Except for Salvador Michaels, we see him running with the girl behind him. Up the stairway. Our guys really. Not this time, Mike. Not this time, Michael. Not this time. We see him up the stairway. We come to the outside. A big hat flies open. We see him. We see the girl. We see our guy. They jump on a. They jump on a, a third motorcycle. The other one was blown up. This is a third hidden motorcycle. Under us. Come on, get on. She's on back. Just barely. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Our guy's running. Got gotcha. <sighs> He runs back around running. Radio's still on. <laughs> and then it's a commercial. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a motorcycle. And then... And then... This guy up front. I'm sorry, Delilah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Off the back. We see a close up of our guy in the reflection of the windshield. We see the girl airborne. Oh, God. Uh, he slams down the windshield. It's a real army Hummer, not a little fucking suburban Hummer. It's a real deal. <laughs> and then, huh? Buckle up! It's a stick shift too, why? I don't know. They're like next to each other. Take the wheel! I don't even like you! Take the wheel! On the back of the motorcycle. Now he's holding on like as like they're on it together. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy's like his eyes are bulging out. He's like, Ugh. and slowly he's losing his grip. And he just drops. <sighs> Our guy stands up. Michael's splayed on the ground. <sighs> You're under arrest. <laughs> Again, then we hear the <laughs> of the Hummer. We turn around. He turns around. We see his point of view. The girl is like now in the seat. <sighs> she lands on the gas. <sighs> it's coming right for him. <sighs> Our guys. Are... <sighs> and then behind him, we don't see. It. He doesn't see it, but we do. This guy pulls out a hidden gun. And close up of his finger. He says, I'll pull the trigger. Uh, at the last second, our guy. Uh, whoa, Johnny's out of the way. We see Michael. Oh, we see the girl. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we see him. It's like flashroom. And the car. The car. And he's like, oh. And he breathes. His last, our guy, even better. You're under arrest. Trial's over. Sentence to death. <laughs> <laughs> we 
cut to the interior of a jail where we see uh, the girl, Delilah, and our guy, still nameless. Hey, how's it going in there? It's tough, but I think, I, I think I'm on the right side of the law, finally. Thank you. No problem. Good luck. I'll, I'll speak to your parole hearing. I'll tell them what you did, what a big help you were. When you get out, look me up. Go to where the road ends, and then like 50 more miles. <laughs> See ya. She was like, the guard shuffles her away. Got to the interior of the police briefing room where we see the identical twins. <clears throat> Army, police. Well, do a good job, soldier. Officer. Did a good job, officer. Back in, well, he's not in custody, he's dead now. It's good. Good job. And we've uh, totally raided that gas station. Thanks for everything. We come back to it. It's like over the shoulder of our guy with those two guys there. Yeah, no problem. Just next time, take me off the invite list. As the camera. <laughs> <laughs>